everyone. I wanted to talk today about propellers because I think that they are one of the biggest hazards that we see on drones today. So one hazard I think that we have is if, if a motor fails mid-air, a drone falls out of the sky and then you have a weight falling down potentially on top of people if you're not flying in a safe space. The other considerable hazard that we have is these propellers. Okay, now it doesn't matter what drone you're flying, if you're flying one of these rotary systems, they all have propellers on them. And these propellers are rotating at hundreds of rotations per second. So what you actually have there is a flying Edward Scissorhands. They are super fast blades slicing through the air. Now, as long as those blades remain attached to your drone, and as long as that drone is nowhere near people or property, all is good. So what we need to do when we're considering safety is to make sure that that occurs. But let's have a look at the different propellers on some of these drones and you'll see how the risk profile increases with the size of these blades. So with the really small drones, and again this is one of the reasons I really like using them with students, is these propellers, you can take them off, and they are very, very small. Now, they have the ability to draw blood without doubt, not a huge amount, but they will if you get them in the wrong place. Their greatest risk is really if you're not wearing safety glasses and you've got one of these in the eye. So considerable risk, but still on the low end of the spectrum compared to some of the other options. If we step up to say the Spark or the Mavic, we have these folding propellers, which is great because it makes them nice and compact when we want to pack them away. But you can see already that the size of the propeller is getting much larger. Now it is possible to get propeller guards on some of these drones. So you'll see these really little ones have these propeller guards around them to reduce the chance of you getting anything caught in those propellers. Now when we step up to something like the Phantom or the Solo, um, they're not foldable. Um, they're still plastic propellers. Okay. And even though they are plastic, they will still slice and dice. And if you're not sure, there's a really good video on YouTube. If you, if you search for Drone Blender, you will see a phantom slicing through all different types of fruits and veggies. So you'll see just how easy it is for it to act like a blender with those blades. Now, if you step up to some of the bigger drones, we're now looking at carbon fiber blades. Okay, so even though the blade itself isn't so much longer, it is made of a much harder substance and it will most definitely slice as well. Now we go all the way to my largest drone, which isn't here today. It actually has eight propellers, eight motors, and they are folding propellers, but this is how, they, how large they are together. Now, we had an incident some time ago where one of the propellers came off this particular drone and that no accidents, we were being completely safe in, in our operations. But what we did see was that a propeller snapped in half and this piece was actually buried inside, buried down deep into a very, very dry sports oval. So you can see it snapped in half it was buried up to about 10 centimeters deep. And you can just imagine what that would be like if it actually came into contact with something that you didn't want to be sliced. So that's my take on propellers. They can be dangerous. So my key thing here is that whenever you are working with drones, you need to make sure that you keep your distance and that's part of regulations nationally as well but also wear safety glasses. And if your hands are going to be anywhere close to drones at any stage, consider looking at some Kevlar gloves. They're not overly expensive, but they're an option to use those as well. Again, using the really teeny tiny drones, the risk of those cutting or, or giving significant damage is much, much less. So a really much better option for working with students and those learning to fly.